Hello and welcome to Stockwatch, presented by me, Evan Lucas, for Go Market Securities. As always, please, a very good read through of the disclaimer on screen. Everything in this video is general in nature. None of which upon as any form of personal advice. Go Market Securities does not know your personal scenario, nor your personal financial goals, and therefore none of which relied upon as any form of advice at all. It is just general in nature only. Harvey Norman came out today with numbers that, interestingly enough, are slightly lower than what came out from JB Hi-Fi, but the market has reacted slightly better to it. Why is it? Let's, well, let's run through it. Having a look, year-on-year -year sales were slightly lower. So we came in at $4.64 billion. Compare that to the year before, we saw $4.98 billion. JB Hi-Fi, this time around, managed to do $5.15 billion. Profit before tax fell 45.7%. To 283 million overall, and that was slightly better than the market expected. Not only that, net sales totaled over 200 million, which was also down from last year of 365, but ahead of expectations of 198 million bucks. The outlook was better than expected in terms of what was there, so the market actually gave them a 5% jump on the day. If you look at their franchise sales, like for like, they were also down. And they did tell you that for the first three months of this calendar year, net profit is actually almost half what they've already seen. So why the jump? What, the, what increase going on in Harvey's has got the market so excited? Well, it might be down to the fact that sales in Europe and also Malaysia were stronger than expected and higher than this time last year. And on Malaysia, there is clear strategy there. They've got three stores due to open by June 30 and are well on track to do that. They want eight stores to be done there by the end of next year. And they anticipate to have as much as 12, even up to 80 outlets by 2028 in Malaysia alone. That is quite a growth market to be in and certainly something that maybe the market is looking at over the fact that overall the Australia and New Zealand business was flat and slightly going backwards. And competitively to something like JB Hi-Fi, it is losing market share. Yes, it is still the biggest in white goods and furniture, but JB Hi-Fi just seems to do it just that touch little bit better and a little bit cheaper than what it does. So it's an interesting one. Harvey's has certainly told you a result that normally would be seen slightly negatively, but clearly their outlook going forward is what the market's concentrated on.